All right, so good morning. Um, today, what we're gonna be doing is obviously it's Monday, so it's Mental Health Monday. So we are gonna be doing, um, we do have a Mental Health Monday assignment for you to do. So please um, either submit a Flipgrid. If you do the Flipgrid, again, don't forget to type Flipgrid just because um, All right, so good morning. Um, Canvas today, doesn't automatically, sorry, hold on a second. Monday, so Canvas doesn't automatically know that you submitted the Flipgrid because I gave you guys different options on how to do it. So um, you need to either submit a Flipgrid and then type Flipgrid. You can submit a picture uh, that, of something you've created. You can um, draw something, you can do whatever. It's again, just a chance for you to um, kind of express yourself. Obviously in these difficult times, I wanna give you guys a creative outlet or just some sort of outlet. Even if you don't wanna create something, you could at least talk about what, um, you know, what you've been going through. And obviously for the, if you do the Flipgrid, it's uh, moderated to only where I can see it and no one else is gonna see your comments. Um, so uh, this week, um, what I've been watching is I just started watching The Haunting, well, not just started, I'm like five episodes in now, but The Haunting of Bly Manor, which is actually based off of a book called Turn of the Screw, which I put the picture in right there. Uh, really good book, very gothic feeling. Um, I've also been watching Fargo and The Vow. Um, I just, I literally just finished this this morning. Um, I just finished reading Death's End, which was the third book in a trilogy of a science fiction book uh, trilogy that they're going to be making into a Netflix series. And then um, I've been listening to a little bit more like old school punk uh, this week. Um, so I've been listening to a band called The Dead Kennedys. And the song that I've been listening to or the album is called Kill the Poor. Um, again, it's a punk album. So that's, you know, kind of the names you get from them. But um, basically the, uh, what I need from you guys this week is mental for, um, is I need you guys to finish your podcast. Um, oops, I forgot to change that. It shouldn't say you need to listen to a podcast. It should say you need to finish recording your podcast. So um if you haven't finished with your partner um, during the asynchronous time today, I'm going to have you stay on and I'm going to have you uh, share, like work with your partner to get this done because it is technically due tonight. So uh, just make sure that you guys are getting the podcast done, doing your mental health Monday. Um, this week also too, um, we're going to be reading a new story. So last week we did the mythology. Um, this week we're going to read an actual story. Um, there's going to be no annotation on this. Uh, we don't have, we don't annotate necessarily every story. Um, and this one is a little bit longer and a little more dense. So I wanted to do something a little different that hopefully helps you guys um, understand the story a little bit more. So what we're going to be doing, so tomorrow you're going to be um, given the story. Um, you technically can already access it right now if you want to, but um, it's called End of Play, and we'll talk during class tomorrow a little bit about what it's about, what it's inspired off of, uh, because it is based off of a real story. Um, it's not, it's fictionalized, but it is based off of a real story. Um, but basically what you're going to do tomorrow is you're going to read it, listen to it. You have to listen to it because you're going to be answering questions that are embedded in the audiobook. And so you will have to answer those questions in order to get the points. So you're not doing an annotation, but you are going to be answering questions um, and they're all multiple choice. So, um, but you do need to listen to the entire story in order to do that. And then Thursday, we are going to be recording another podcast and we're not going to do a podcast every week now, but I wanted, since we're in a habit, uh, we just did one this last week. I wanted to do another one and again, the reason why I'm going to have you guys do a podcast is because uh, you're going to be talking about basically what you're going to be writing about next week. So you guys did the Harrison Bergeron brief right two weeks ago. Some of you guys did pretty well. Um, some of you guys mostly just wrote summary and I need to try to break you guys of that. So in order to do that, um, I'm basically giving you the prompt for what you're going to be writing about in the podcast. And you're going to talk about it with your new partner about um, basically like, what you're you're going to answer the question verbally that way next week when you go to write it you can either listen to the podcast to get ideas or just remember what you talked about so uh what questions do you guys have for me so far you could either put it in the chat um you could put you can unmute yourself and ask me
Okay, so once again, needed to talk to you guys too is about your grades. So um, in this class in particular, I have quite a bit of Ds and Fs. And unfortunately, when I was looking at some of the grades, it's not just my class. Some of you have Ds and Fs in at least one other class, if not three or four. So um, I, de I definitely don't want one my class to be the one that you're failing because for one thing, English is a class you have to have. Obviously, um, you have to have four years of it. You will have to go to summer school if you don't finish it. And I'm really doing my best to try and make this um, as easy and I'm trying to be as accommodating as possible. Um, like if you guys have issues from those of you who've talked to me before, you know I will generally work with you and try to make it work so that way um, hopefully technology isn't the barrier, but, um, I do need some of you, again, the big things that ha are affecting your grade right now are the annotations from Seven Floors, Biafra, uh, Harrison Bergeron. That's 60 points right there, just from those three stories. Um, 40 points obviously was a huge chunk of your grade from the brief write. So if you've not done the brief write, or if you got 20 out of 40 on the brief write, um, we'll be going over that too. Um, we, if you need to revise it, which some of you do, if you got 20 out of 40, either you didn't, you just summarized the story, told me what it was about, or a lot of people told me what the difference was between the movie and the story, which is close, but it's not quite what I was asking for. Cause I was asking what the difference in tone was. And some of you didn't even mention tone. So obviously that's not really answering the prompt, but again, was all of the work that we do in this class, like 90% of it, if you wanna get a higher grade, all you have to do is resubmit it. So resubmit your assignment. I believe in revision. I believe in trying to make it better. If you have questions about the score you got, um, I did leave, unless you turned it in late, I left video comments on all of everyone's brief rights. Uh, if you turned it in late, I just typed it out just because I didn't have as much time to do that anymore. But, um, yeah, so any questions from you guys about the podcast, about late work, about your grades, anything like that? And I have it to where only I can see your chat. So that way, if you have a question and you don't want to be like embarrassed or whatever, asking somebody, I won't like say anybody's names or anything. So. Okay, so here's the deal. We got about three or four minutes left before I can officially let people go. So here is what we're gonna be doing. So during the asynchronous time, so you guys basically have till 1040 is when your next class starts. So I will need people to stay for the next 20 minutes, basically to 1035 um, to work on their podcast. If you leave before you turn in your podcast, you will be marked absent and you won't get points for being here today. So if you did finish the podcast, you can leave. So um, at 10.15, you'll be able to leave. So double check, make sure, and your partner should be here. So pretty much almost everyone is here minus like one or two people. So, okay, no 